now living in exile in Babylon, far away from home. The Babylonian king, Nebuchadnezzar, selected a group of the most healthy, educated Israelite men to study the Babylonian language and culture for three years, then put them to work in his royal court. In this group, there were three men named Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They served the king faithfully, and the king placed them in powerful positions. Nebuchadnezzar wanted his people to worship him, so he built a 90-foot-tall gold statue of himself and commanded everyone in Babylon to worship it. But Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego had committed themselves to only worshiping God. So when everyone else in Babylon bowed and worshiped to the statue, the three men stayed standing. Nebuchadnezzar was furious and sentenced them to be thrown into a fiery furnace and burned alive. The king ordered the furnace to be turned up to seven times hotter than usual, so hot that even the guards who threw them into it were killed. Once the three men were inside, the king jumped up and asked his advisors, weren't there three men we threw in? I now see four men, and the fourth looks like a son of the gods. The king ordered the men to come out. When they did, everyone was amazed. Not only were they still alive, but they were in perfect condition. Not a hair on their heads had been burned. Once again, the king was impressed, and not only let the men go, but promoted them. Years later, a new king of Babylon named Darius came on the scene. A friend of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego named Daniel, who was also an Israelite, was so well liked by the new king that the other leaders in Babylon became jealous and hatched a plot to get rid of him. They tricked King Darius into signing a law that said Darius himself was a god and should be the only god anyone should worship for the next 30 days. Daniel heard about the law, but chose not to follow it. He went into an upstairs room in his home and looked out the windows facing toward Jerusalem, and he prayed to God three times a day. When the Babylonian leaders saw Daniel praying, they told King Darius, who was now forced to punish Daniel. He was arrested and thrown into a den full of lions overnight. In the morning, the den was opened, and Daniel was not only alive, there was not a scratch on him. Years later, after the Israelites had all been living in exile for 70 years, the Babylonians were overtaken by Persia and the Israelites were allowed to return back to Jerusalem. They were going home. <laughs>